suspect under arrest tonight in a cold case in Texas. A woman stabbed to death, the case unsolved for more than a year, but then police employed a controversial tactic called familial testing. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez. After more than a year and a half of painstakingly trying to figure out who brutally murdered Natalia Shaw on Mother's Day 2016, tonight a suspect is finally behind bars. Tracked down, police say, using a controversial type of DNA testing. This is uh, pretty rare. Police say the killer's DNA was found at Shaw's home in Baytown, Texas, where she was stabbed to death. But there was no match in the database. So investigators tried familial testing, which searches for DNA markers genetically similar to other violent offenders. It led them to an inmate whose brother then became the prime suspect. Our detectives were able to identify a person of interest in the case as 29-year-old Byron Collins of Baytown. Police say then, using DNA from a discarded cigarette, they were able to link Collins directly to the crime scene. You are charged with a felony offense of capital murder. Familial DNA testing is only used in several states, and some call the method an invasion of privacy. But it has been pivotal in some high-profile cases, including in California, where it was used to help capture the serial killer known as the Grim Sleeper. And as for the suspect in Texas, he has not yet entered a plea.